guys, welcome to Soda Jerks, and I'm your host. Randall Richardson, and this is my co-host here, Nathan Hack. Yes. It's going to be a super special episode tonight. Um, I'm reviewing uh, the new Sprite flavor. It's Sprite Cherry, so that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm really excited about that. And it's also a special episode because my wife, Linda, is in labor right now. She's going through childbirth. So that's uh, pretty cool as well. So. Uh, Linda, if you're watching this, uh, well, it's not a live broadcast, but I just want to say good luck. I'm here for you. Keep on pushing. And um, to my son, I'm looking forward to meeting you later on tonight and having a soda with you for the first time. Uh, some of you may be wondering why I'm not with my wife right now, and uh, she's probably wondering the same thing because she was uh, not happy with me having to stay behind to do this video, but. You know, I explained to her, honey, uh, there's a new flavor of Sprite out. It's cherry spray, I'm really excited about it, and I wanted to be able to do a video on it before those pop jocks guys get it and, and do the video first. So, you know, I said that to her, and uh, she was still kind of upset, and uh, it's just really silly because, well, I mean, I shouldn't get into this too much right now, but she just has like this weird thing, it just, her mom died in childbirth, so she has like this like stupid fear that that the same thing is going to happen to her. And you know, I just I I said it to her like, honey, just because your mom died in childbirth, and just because you suffer from some of the same medical problems that your mother does, it doesn't mean that that's going to happen to you. And and uh, I'm sorry, but that's just a, a fear that you're going to have to face on your own. And uh, here's the thing though, like, when we first started to see each other, I told her, I said, look, I'm a soda jerk, okay? I review sodas for YouTube, it's what I do. You know, there are times where it's gonna come before you, and that's just how, how it is, okay? And today is one of those days. So, I, um, I put her in the Uber, and I sent her on her way, and that should have been it. But then about 90 minutes later or so, me and Nathan, we're in pre-production, we're going through rehearsals, trying to get ready to do the video and everything, and my, my phone keeps on ringing. So I finally answer it, and uh, it's just some guy, and he's just like, oh, I'm, I'm from the hospital, there's been some complications, we need you down here immediately. And I said, look buddy, you're causing complications on my set by ringing my phone off book. And I just shut it off, and I just turned it, turned it off and put it away because, you know, nowadays they try to convince you that, that you need to have your phone on you at all times. And, and really, uh, like, our, here's a newsflash for you. Our grandparents didn't have that. Our parents didn't have that. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, there's got to be some cases where you need to have your phone on your person. In no, no, no. That's, that's like that modern day uh, mindset bullshit. And it's not true at all. Uh, one more thing before we got to the actual review is um, some behind the scenes drama that I thought you guys should know about that is uh, threatening the series a bit. Um, the other night, it was about Wednesday night, and uh, I got a call on the phone, and I see it's Nathan, and I answer, and he says to me, uh, Randall, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I don't think that I could do soda jerks anymore. And I just said, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is wrong with you? And I just uh, went off and he said, uh, well, Randall, just I, I got back from the doctors and, and he diagnosed me with diabetes and he said that if I don't, if I don't stop drinking soda, then I'm going to lose uh, both of my limbs. And I said, well, if you stop drinking soda, then we're going to lose all of our subscribers. So, you, you know, you better make a choice. And I hung up the phone and I just, um, I was stewing for hours. I was just, I was just so angry. And, and then um, it must have been about three o'clock in the morning. I, I drove over to his place and I was just pounding on the door, pounding away. And he finally answers and I just, uh, I grab him and uh, I grabbed your arm pretty hard, and I'm, I'm sorry about that, and uh, how's the bruise from that, is that...? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I still have a bruise. Oof. Sorry about that. So I grabbed onto him and I just said, look man, we're not gonna let this shit keep us down, okay? I'm going to find a way to beat your diabetes. And so I had him tell me about all this kind of different shit that his doctor had prescribed him, and it was all just shit that was going to get him hooked for life on this stuff. And, uh, and they're not a habit forming drugs. No one's ever become addicted to any of this. Well, you say that, but these people that are on them, they take them every single day. So, I mean, what does that tell you? So, you know, I told them just to flush all that shit right down the toilet. And I got onto his computer, I downloaded the Tor browser, and I, we started to go through the dark web. And for hours, we, we just shifted through all this, uh, this horrifying stuff, this really dark, creepy stuff, and until we, we came across this website that sells drugs. And I found a, a miracle drug that it essentially cures your diabetes and you don't even have to worry about the, the kind of things that you're eating. So I took Nathan's credit card and I just ordered him about a year's worth of the stuff. And uh, so I have him on that now and he, he's not taking in any more of that shit that the doctors had, had him taking. And uh, how do you feel, Nathan? Um, I feel really weird. I'm just tired all the time and I've been throwing up. Well, I mean, that's just uh, his body going through withdrawal from uh, kicking the, the drugs that the doctors had prescribed him. And uh, yeah, you, should, you should be feeling fine in a couple of days. All right, so let's get down to the review now. Okay, so this week we're reviewing Sprite Cherry and I'm really excited to try this. It's a very interesting concept. Let's see. Huh, it's really neat. I mean, uh, I, yeah, I don't really have anything to say about it. What do you think, Nathan? I really don't think I should be drinking this right now. I feel really weird. Just drink the fucking soda. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what do you think? <coughs> it's good. Huh, awesome. Yeah, and uh, it's kind of um, an interesting new flavor for a Sprite because yeah, normally with Sprite you just have the lemon, you have the lime, and but now they've added a, a third fruit into the mix, cherry, which I think is a really bold <coughs> one. From Nathan, 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 talk to me, Nathan.